Let's get on with the business of this morning. Agenda item one is the appointment of chair. I'm happy to chair. Could I have a proposer and seconder, please? Happy to see you, uh, Please to propose. Happy to second, chair. Thank you, Wyndham. Agenda item two is chair's announcements. So, Bordal, uh, Christio, good morning and welcome to this meeting of Cabinet on the 18th of March 2024. I am Councillor Stephen Leader of Neath Portalbert Council. Can I welcome all members of the public viewing this meeting and ask them to please ensure that their microphones are switched to off as they are here to observe the meeting only. Members and officers, please can I ask you to ensure that your phones are switched to silent for the duration of the meeting and to, uh, that your microphones are switched to mute unless you are speaking. In addition, when asked to raise your hand, if members who are virtually attending this meeting could raise their electronic hands and for members physically present, raise your hands. Agenda item three is decorations of interest. Can I ask members, are there any decorations of interest? Please would members say what the items are and what the interest is? Uh, and if yes, Tommy will forward you an electronic version of the form for you to complete an email back to her. Declaration of interest, please. Joe. Yes, prejudicial interest against agenda item five. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Sorry, Leader. Could you state the interest, please? No. Why? Why? Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Leader. Thank you. Okay, then. Agenda item four is public question time. I have received no notification from the public to speak at today's meeting. Agenda item five is the council tax premium on long term empty dwellings and second homes. Uh, I noticed Joe has left the meeting. Can you confirm, Tommy, please? Yes, confirmed, Leader. Thank you. Thank you. This report is on pages three to 34 and is here for the decision. Can I ask officers if they have anything further to add? Do you? Uh, no, nothing. Thank you very much, Chair. Do you? Members, do you have any questions on this agenda item? Deputy Leader Alan Llewellyn, please. Yeah, dear th 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 thank you, Chair. Um, I'd just like to thank scrutiny members for the questions and, and comments, you know, because, because it's obvious that the report's been very well considered uh, and, and, and thought through by the members. Uh, there are a number of authorities who've already introduced a similar scheme, and I'm sure that, that in turn we will gain experience of the scheme in practice and consider any any future revisions uh, as needed. And the change will come into effect in a year's time in April 2025, which gives an opportunity to ensure information is available in advance. And as mentioned, uh, building owners who may be affected were directly contacted as part of the consultation, which I think you know shows a commitment to try and uh, engage with the with the sector. Um, so overall, this could be a significant contribution to our objective of bringing empty properties back into use and contributing to our housing, our wider housing strategy um, and bring and uh, benefiting communities across the country. But I appreciate the support that's been given uh, to the proposal this morning. Dear. Thank you, Deputy Leader. Can I now call in councillors, Cabinet Member for Finance, Councillor Simon Noyle, please. Yeah, thank you, Chair. Um, I think I'd like to echo what Arlene has just said, many of those Many of those points I was going to raise myself. Um, just to also thank you and Anne for the work they've done on this, bringing this report to us. Um, and I think one of the scrutiny um, committee members mentioned about the bias regarding the consultation, um, which I think we need to take on board, as well as I think the consultation consultations are only as good as as the people who were uh, were, were consulted with. And I think confirmation from Anne. That we sent out to 1700 i think it was people directly in, involved or related to this uh, incident were consulted with directly really interesting that not many of them came back but we've heard the information as well which is which is really good to track ourselves against other authorities pretend um rct swansea pretend which Anne mentioned good to see that we weren't an, an outlier in terms of the number of people who consulted that were directly asked for their views on on, on the consultation um it's a strange time isn't it people don't People don't want to effectively engage in consultation, but are happy to take to other forms of communication to express their concerns and views on it, which 
um, finding the right way to engage with people going forward is a, is a difficult thing. But that's another that's a story for another day. Um, but I'm grateful for um, the scrutiny as well on this subject. Um, thank you very much, Leader. Thank, thank you, Councillor Noyle. I'll, I'll bring uh, Hugh back in now then, please, Hugh. Yeah, thank you very much. Sorry, it was remiss of me not to mention, um, Leader, that obviously the decision on this is actually one for Council on Wednesday afternoon. So um, whilst Cabinet are agreeing this proposal this morning, it'll be a decision for Council on Wednesday. Um, I'm just taking up Councillor Llewellyn's point. Um, if Council are minded to approve, we will write to everybody affected, which will give them um, the best part of 12 months then to sort of um, make decisions around their own personal circumstances. So that's just a note, Chair. Thank you. Thank you for that information, Hugh. Um, I certainly concur with what Councillor Noyle and Councillor Llewellyn, I'm sure all Cabinet would do the same. Uh, Councillor Wyndham Griffiths, please. Uh, yes, thanks, Chair. Um, I, I'm 90% with this, but I have one reservation where um, if somebody buys a property to do it up um, and they live in elsewhere, whether with their parents or renting a property, they bought a property, it needs taken to the ground really and, you know, um, really done up from, from A to B, you know, A to Z, um, that the six months um, is not long enough because in my experience, it takes a lot longer than six months to get the property and really get it back up into um, habitable uh, shape when you're trying to do the work yourself. You know, there's lots of people who don't go to big firms to do it or any firm, they try and do it themselves and it takes a long time. I think there should be some leeway there about case by case um, could be looked at. Thank you. Thanks for that, Councillor Griffiths. Uh, hey, would you want to come back on that point? Yeah, just to say, I think, as Anne mentioned in scrutiny, that, um, you know, we are, I think, the only council locally who've actually allowed that six months and not gone for a full um, two and, uh, premium straight away. So. You know, I, I think I take your point on board, but six months should be enough time to actually get a house um, habitable. So um, that's the proposal, Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Hugh. OK, any further questions from members? I don't see any. I am happy to propose uh, this agenda item. Could I have a second, then, please? Happy to see you, uh, Happy to second, Chair. Uh, are there any abstentions? I don't see any. Members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, I will assume that you're in favour of the recommendation. And Tammy will confirm this for, for me, please. No indications to the contrary, Chair, so that recommendation has been approved to commended to Council. Thank you. I should have said as well, I now refer members to the recommendation on page 12 of the agenda pack and the associated appendix, which includes the IIA, sorry for me, remiss of me. So can I just go back to the proposal with that included? I'm happy to propose. Can I have a second, please? Happy to see you, Leo Happy to second. Can I ask, are there any abstentions? I don't see any. So, members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, mm -hmm. I will assume that you are in favour of the recommendations and Tommy will once more confirm the outcome for me, please. Amended to Council, Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Agenda item six uh, are urgent items. I do not have any today. Uh, Nicola, I know you brought up that urgent item in the scrutiny committee. Is it necessary for you to bring it up here at Cabinet as well? I've been advised by Craig that it's not necessary. Thank you, uh, Chair. Thank you, Nicola. OK, agenda item seven is access to meetings. This is to resolve to exclude the public for the following items in pursuit of regulations mm -hmm. four in brackets three and five of the statutory instrument 2001 number 2290 and paragraph 14 of part four of schedule 12a to the local government act 1972. I propose that we now move into private session. Could I have a seconder please? Happy to see you look at it. Happy to second. Thank you, Alan. Members, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your hand, I will assume that you're in favour of moving into private. And Tammy will confirm that we have now moved into private. The public has left.